Welcome back to Hemphi Homestead. I'm finally getting around to smoking this pastrami. Got a couple things to do first. I'm going to do a clean out on the pit boss. I've used it about eight times, uh, mostly smoking, a little bit of grilling. And I think they recommend clean it out after five times, so we're a little bit behind. And I'm tired of this thing funneling and me not being able to do anything about it, so I'm going to take this grate out. We'll take a closer look at that here in a second. All right, this thing is, uh, you can see how dirty it is. We'll take the grates out of it. I'll throw these back in and uh, heat them up and brush them off after we get all this cleaned out. This little clip right here, see it's so dirty I can't hardly move the clip. Take the rod out, that, uh, adjust the whole thing. I'm gonna go ahead and hook up my shop vac and vacuum out some of this. I got some pellets in here and there's tons of ash, mainly because I like to use smoke tubes. It's my personal preference. I like things a little smokier than what I think this provided for us in our first few runs. It's more like baking something in the oven and that's not really what I'm missing the interested in. You can see here we got a little bit of rusty stuff on top of this. I think I can clean that off pretty good. I'll go ahead and pull these out. That's why you need to clean this thing regularly. Looks like it's just on the surface. But if you ever pay attention to your gas grills and such, they're pretty easy to uh, If you don't maintain them, they rust right out of there. Yeah, so you can see I'm full of tons of ash in there, and I'm going to... Get this guy vacuumed out. All right, if you got one of these, you know that your pellets usually funnel down in there a little bit. You can kind of see it funneled over there, just a hair. Tailed in by four screws, this grate is here, here, and here, and two on this back side. This has got to come off to get to those back screws. So I'm gonna pop that off and take that daggone grate out of there. This is probably one of the top modifications that people make to these Laredos. I see it all the time on the Facebook groups that I'm in. And then these two screws here for the back side. Oh goodness. Yep. Alright, that wasn't very easy. One of those screws was being a beast. I ended up getting my grinder out and very carefully grind the head off of it. So here it is. This thing's got to go. Don't need it anymore. Not dumb enough to stick my hand in all of it. So let's get to smoking pastrami. Alright, for my rub, I got out my card from when I made this earlier this year. And start off with it, I got black pepper, coriander, and mustard. And I don't have a mortar and pestle. You want this stuff just... Uh, break it up you want it really coarse just break it up so that you release the fragrances and man this smells so good so i got 11 grams of black pepper 10 grams of coriander and 10 grams of mustard and i don't have a mortar and pestle last time i threw it all in a blender and just pulsed it for a few seconds this time i put it in this bag and crushed it with a rolling pan oh, pretty good I'm adding that to what was already 26 grams of brown sugar. 12 grams of onion powder. 12 grams of garlic powder. And 8 grams of smoked paprika. And I like to work in weights. I use grams because it's absolute. It doesn't... Uh, you know, a teaspoon here and a half a teaspoon there may be very different things to different people. So I would like to work in weights. Give this a good little mix here. I thought it wasn't going to be enough, but now it looks like, yeah, it probably will be. Alright, 
I'm going to rub this rub into this brisket. Uh, brine this brisket for eight days. Last time I brined it for five days and didn't quite get through the fat in some places. So I went eight days this time. One thing I'm disappointed in is uh, the butcher butchered this, took almost every bit of fat off of it. And I don't know why you would do that. Um, it's our fault, I guess. We didn't request him to not do that. And next time if we buy another half a beef like we've been doing, I will definitely request to leave the fat on the brisket and I will trim it myself and choose how much fat. I want about a half inch layer of fat on this thing, but right now we have absolutely none. So I'm really worried about how that's going to smoke. I'm worried it's going to dry out. And uh, so I'm going to go real slow. I'm going to smoke it 200. Normally I would want to be in the 225, 250 range, but because I don't have any fat on this, I'm worried about it drying out. I'm going to, I'm going to smoke it at 200 degrees and let go longer, slower, and hopefully that will help. I think I'm going to shoot for the 160 to 180 range on it and then wrap it to also help it. It, it smells amazing. It smells just like corned beef. I took about a quarter of this off to keep for corned beef. And if you if you don't know pastrami, really the difference between pastrami and corned beef is that pastrami is smoked and corned beef is not. Try and get every little bit of this on there. I made one of these earlier this year before we had the pit balls and used the old propane smoker and it's very hard to regulate temperature and it took forever. It took about 20 hours, but it was way bigger than this too. I, I used the whole brisket and uh, this time we just have a little piece. this sit here and sweat it out for about 20 minutes or so while my smoker gets up to temp and then we're going to get busy I told you I like to use smoke tubes that's 100% personal preference definitely not something you have to do I like the more smokier than what I get out of the pit boss so here's my smoke tube I got it full of pellets I'm using a uh, using the pit boss all-american blend for the smoke and I will just set this down here inside an old propane smoker and let it catch on fire. Let that go for five to seven minutes and get it blown out and then it will create smoke for roughly three to four hours. Alright, there is that. It's been going for about almost ten minutes maybe. Let's blow the flame out, make sure the flame stays out. I like to blow on it, make sure it stays cherry red in there so it creates smoke. And sometimes you can start the fire back on it. So you can see there, uh, it's smoking. It's a 12 inch tube. And I'm gonna put it in the pit balls. Wear a glove for this, cause this thing does get hot. <coughs> Ugh. And I take the hook. And just hook it up in here on the track for the top rail for the for the top grade. One other thing I did, these daggone thermometers on this thing not working again. Problem I had with it from very day one. Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. I'm not gonna fool with them. I got my beach on out here. I absolutely love this thing. That's what I'm gonna use. About ready to put pastrami in here. Um, got nice smoke now that will smoke for roughly three to four hours and I will check on it and see what kind of bark I got and then decide whether or not to put another one in when it runs out one thing you got to watch 
I ran a test on these smoke tubes in here without any heat going from the operation grill and I got around 55 degrees so you got to remember that this thing's going to add heat to your smoke so you want to keep an eye on your temperature you might have to adjust that a little bit all right this is not going great I mean it's okay but not great so I got it wrapped up I'm about 150 degrees now uh, 154 on this probe 151 on this probe um, it, it's looking like it's dry as can be I was afraid that was gonna happen there was absolutely no fat on there you got to have that fat on this thing uh, so I wrapped it up trying to retain some moisture also had a pan here with some water to steam off in here and the paper won't let it get in there very much but I, I, I'm trying to get the paper to to create a steaming effect inside there and keep some paper in there so I'm on my third smoke tube I'm about seven and a half hours into this thing uh, still got a ways to go um, of course the smoke's not doing anything now that I got it wrapped up but I already had it going so I'm just going to let it burn out and I won't add any more smoke to it so I still got <laughs> a ways to go here and I'm concerned this is uh, not going to be uh, I'm concerned it's not going to be tender and going to be hard to eat um, we'll see still got a ways to go I might get lucky definitely not turning out like my first one did my first one was a little chewy we did earlier this year but this one uh, I don't think it's gonna turn out first one we did this earlier this year uh, it was a little bit chewy but great flavor and it, it wasn't it wasn't a dried out best like I think it's gonna turn out to be so jury's still on it